Hello, hello, Daniel here for Arsenal Above All. Back home after the game, chilling, wearing my Arsenal dressing gown. Just some quick thoughts on the match today because you've probably um, discussed it amongst yourselves, all the talking points and all that by now. Um, it started off really flat. Um, Leeds played quite well. They had a bit of a game plan, really. They played some nice ones and twos, some nice movements. Rams still had to be equal, making quite a few saves. Uh, so that was all cool. Um, the penalty came against the run of play. Jesus put it away. Not confidently, I would say. It was a bit of a cheeky, risky penalty. It wasn't like hit low and hard into the corner. Uh, it hit it straight down the middle. But you know what the main thing is, it went in. And from there, we kind of took control of the game. And um, even though the scoreline flattered us quite a bit, I would say, because Leeds were a decent value, really, for, for how they played. Um, but 4-1, um, it finished. Um, some good performances uh, on the field. Um, Jesus, great to see him, you know, back and then scoring Tross Trossard, Martinelli, all played well. Um, in the beginning, White and Trossard were lacking a bit of that connection that Saka normally brings with White, but that's expected. Um, they grew into the game and, and, and all was good on, on that side of things. Um, with regards to the ability for us to be able to take players off, that was good as well. Partey, Zinchenko, Jesus, um, all those players came off and some others as well. Uh, just with one eye kind of on the um, tough fixtures that we've got coming up away to uh, Liverpool, away to City and away to Newcastle. So it's so, a so really difficult game coming up. So. Personally, I'm taking it one game at a time. I know it's easy to get excited, overexcited, and get you know a bit cocky and stuff like that. But honestly, Gunas, we've been here before. We always mess things up. So for me, take it one game at a time, uh, and the confidence is there. It's growing, uh, and just get behind the lads every game. No matter what happens, we go down. Get behind them. Um, I'm trying not to engage in too much banter and, and silly talk. That's what the media folks want. Gary Neville and all that a lot. Trying to derail our season by you know having little pops and that so for me i'm just staying focused personally each to their own everyone deals with deals with it differently but that's me now aside from the game which we won 4-1 as i said comfortably in the end um one key thing i want to discuss was the amount of empty seats now this is something that arsenal really need to to have a look at so next season uh this this stops obviously we're doing quite well at the moment and that is going to that's going to attract more attention from touts and uh, companies using these bots to buy up the tickets and sell them on the black market. You know, Arsenal, are, you know, this has probably been said and said over and over again. And I've heard that they've blocked about half a million IP addresses selling um, inflated tickets. Uh, but, you know, there were loads of empty seats looking around me in the clock end across to my left and to my right. There was just empty seats, loads. Um, not something we want to see in a title uh potential season so hopefully the club gets that sorted you know we can't be having that there's loads of people that can't get to games and there's people that are vulnerable and desperate who are being taken advantage of um so yeah that aside decent game on to the next um it's, it's, it's this this is now where we've got to earn our uh, we've got to earn our coin yeah arsenal um some difficult away games coming up but um yeah let's get behind the lads looking good Arsenal, above all, let's go. This is Daniel signing out. See you soon.